We are thawing out. Matter of fact, I'm fixing to take my sweatshirt off. Good afternoon or midday lunch, something or another. Yeah, man. Huge night and day difference between this time last week and today. Uh, probably at least 45 degrees difference because it's it's upper to 65 now. But uh, we've thawed out. Uh, we have been super, super lucky uh, and have come out with a minimum, I think, of damages and issues. Uh, man, say some prayers for some folks that didn't do so well. There is some, there is some damage around with water pipes and things like that. You know, uh, hey, kudos to those guys that live north of us uh, that, can, that are used to those minus degree temperatures and, and long spells of freezing temperatures because not this cat. I, I like the cold weather at times, but I, today is a beautiful day. I mean, 60, 65 degrees, it's perfect. So we're in the shop and we're doing some maintenance stuff and getting ready to get going. Uh, my phone is blowing up. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. It's, it's go time. So I gotta make sure these trucks are ready. Matter of fact, Chris is out pumping right now. Foster pumped earlier this morning. He's back. We're checking out a couple things on that trailer pump. We gotta check out a couple things on the on Bill's truck and make sure everything's ready to go. It's it's go time now. So here's your minute. What's that? that kidney yeah, that's off that other one. It was one we changed out. Well, we're checking all this out while we got it. Checking the O-ring that goes around this shaft. It seems to be doing its job. It seems to be in good shape. The kidney seal. I don't know what's going on with it. Y'all, some guy said I put it in there backwards the last time. And. It ain't, I don't think it's as performing like it should. So, against y'all's advice, I'm gonna, we're gonna change that out to put it in another way. Clean, we'll take it out, we'll clean up around it, and then put it back, put it in the opposite way. That's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do on bills is we're gonna take this all off. We gotta get in there and put a new cutting ring and pressure spring on it. I was supposed to have a new seal kit in today, but I hadn't received it yet. I was wanting to take replace that seal kit on the back of that housing there, but we're gonna have to wait on it. So Bill's gonna work on this. I gotta go get silicone for the back of the trailer pump so we can get it all put back together and get me and foster a hamburger bill's already ate he had brunch so anyway i'm gonna leave the camera with bill he can visit with y'all
Raise it up, see where you see where you get to. This might be interesting. Foster's gonna reassemble all that. You probably need to put some more grease in that grease gun and grease everything yeah, right. make sure all that stuff gets plenty of grease in it. What we're doing here, we've had bad experiences with this pump, and and when I say eating the pressure spring literally eat the pressure spring matter of fact it it plugged bill up into five to four one day he opened it up and his pressure spring was sucked out of here i don't know if this one gets sucked out of here as much as tight as it feels but it's eat up pretty good so we're kind of gun shy with that since that's happened so we've been paying attention to it but it's it's time to put a new one in here and here's the new one right here pressure springs in there so yeah this is a beefier one when last time when they sent us the, this one right here i compared it to the old one i thought they sent me the wrong one but it's not it fits on there look how th thicker that is mm -hmm. well so, see i bet you that was the bottom see how thin that one right there is yep. compared to the top i bet that was the bottom i think it was so anyway we got the back of that housing pulled out i wanted to put new uh all the new gaskets and seals in that today but with the weather we've had apparently those got delayed so we got some rain coming in at the end of the week so we'll back it in here it's not that big deal to pull that housing out clean it all up replace it and put it all back in even if we had to do the chrome ring on the s tube we'll, we can do that also it's, it's got it's not that big a deal 
to do, to do that either. So, so little maintenance day, and we're pretty. I don't know. I'm pretty honest. The 38 could get its boom up high enough on that side. He's going to, have to be, Bill's right in the center of the building, and he was able to get his boom up high enough. Of course, you saw in the video to get the hopper opened up, which I'm very happy about that. I was, we were questioning it pretty hard whether we could do that or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there were some guys made comments that they, their building's tall enough, they could completely unfold, and I thought, hell, that'd be nice. You could swing it. You could swing it off. Yeah, Chris is pulling in. He went and did him. Get, got him some driveways this morning. So, all right, let's get back over here and get this finished up. Get it assembled so we can see how it works. How far we're now? Looks like you're through the block. What? The threads are through the block back here. <laughs> Trying to do now. He's. We got the wear plate back on. The new one. And he's pushed the housing back in. But through previous experiences, if you don't put blocks back here and hold that weeble wobble or whatever that thing is, you'll push it out and then you'll come off your splines. And then you gotta start unhooking crap and lining stuff back up. It's, it's a mess. It's a mess after that. So, but I think we got it now. I put some blocks back there in this crowbar. And I can see the threads coming through the block now. The weeble wobble. I'm sure somebody on here can correct me what that is. It's bigger than a chingaletta. Hold on, Bill. You're getting close to that block now. I need to pull it out. I guess all the splines are lined up and on there. I don't think it ever came out of them. I don't think it did either. If it come out of that, that valve would have. Well, yes and no. What else? Grout. One of those spots where you really need both hands, but there ain't no way in hell to get the second one in there. We had a guy over at the plant that we called Spider Monkey, <laughs> Francisco. And he was, his arms were about six foot long and real skinny. We'd call him in every once in a while. Well, cleaning up shop. Getting everything buttoned up and ready to go. Just been on the phone all day long. People with the 
jobs we canceled over the last couple of weeks and more coming out of the woodwork weather's cleared up drying up everybody's ready to go pump some concrete As always, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you on the next one.